Hello, dear participants and listeners of the conference, a report on the topic is presented to your attention. Hardening mode and foam concrete properties. The need for inexpensive and heat-efficient construction material requires the creation of new and co-improvement of existing technologies and equipment for its production. The construction materials that most fully satisfy the requirements of modern conditions include the so-called hardest and normal conditions porous concrete, here and after foamed concrete, the macroporosity of which is provided by air entrainment with stirring in the presence of modern high-efficiency surface active additives. According to the technical and economic indicators of production and use, monolithic foam concrete is one of the most competitive materials at present. However, the widespread use of new generation non-autoclave cement foam concrete in modern construction is constrained by the unresolved problems of rationing its construction and technical properties. One of the advantages of concretes over other building materials is the increase in strength and deformation properties during their hardening, in time. If for traditional heavy, light and some types of cellular concrete this issue is sufficiently studied, then for new generation foam tones it requires additional consideration. Therefore, the purpose of the present work is to investigate the time variation of the strength and deformation properties of foam concrete during its hardening under various conditions. Foam concrete of two modifications in the spectrum of densities of 1200 to 1600 kg M3 was subjected to research. Fine-grained natural granulometry on quartz sand and micro-grained concrete on fly ash. The matrix material was dense concrete made without the use of an air entrapping additive. For these types of concrete, the cubic and prism strengths, the uprange modulus, the poison coefficient and the ultimate compressibility under short-term load were experimentally evaluated. Their values were determined according to the methods ghost on sample cubes with a size of 100x100x100 100x 100 mm and sample prisms with a size of 100x100x400 100x mm at a certain age after their manufacture. Based on the results of tests of concrete samples, graphs of changes in concrete properties over time were built. Once and temporarily, with control prisms stored in laboratory conditions, prisms were tested that were observed for a long time under the influence of load, which made it possible to identify the effect of long-term loading on the short-term strength and modulus of elasticity of concrete. Studies of foam concrete with an average density of 1200 kg M3, hardened for 15 years under natural environmental conditions, deserve special attention. Based on the results of the studies, it was established that foam concrete and concrete of a dense structure on different types of aggregate gain strength and increase the modulus of elasticity in time during hardening in laboratory conditions. The annual increase in strength and modulus of elasticity of foam concrete on fly ash is more than that of foam concrete on quartz sand, comparable in average density by 10% on average, and the value of increase with increase in average density decreased. For fine and micro-grained concretes of a dense structure, the strength to 365 days increased by 15 to 20 percent, and the modulus of elasticity by 10 to 15 percent. For foam concrete, depending on the type of aggregate, the strength and modulus of the up depth increased significantly, respectively by 20 to 50 percent and 15 to 40 percent, and the more, the lower the average density of concrete. The results of the change in the strength of foam concrete over time, were quite successfully approximated by the exponential dependence 1. Dot quantitatively, the functions are t, any, t, and the rate of their approximation to the limit values should be judged by the data of table 2. Compression strength of foam concrete grades D1200 on sand of natural granulometry, ground sand and with the addition of fly ash, hardened in natural conditions, increased over the year, compared to the design 28-day age, respectively, by 1.2, 1.15 and 1.1 times, and over 15 years by 1.5, 1.4 and 1.3 times, respectively. A graphical interpretation of this change is shown in Fig. 2. It is noted that the strength of natural hardening concrete on ash is less than the strength of foam concrete on sand by 25% at the age of 28 days, by 30% at the age of 1 year, and by 35% 15 years, and therefore lessen the value of strength gain over time. Analysis of the results of the studies shows that foam concrete hardened in laboratory conditions at quasi-stationary parameters of temperature and humidity has a higher increase in compression strength than the foam concrete equal in average density, which was in natural physical and climatic conditions during periodic humidification drying, freezing thawing. The greater increase in strength in foam concrete hardened in laboratory conditions is explained by the better conditions for cement hydration. 
The effect of hardening time on the deformation of foam concrete during axial compression is represented by the characteristic diagrams. In all types of foam concrete, the inclination angle of the curves of longitudinal and pop river deformations to the horizontal axis increased, which indicates a decrease in deformability and an increase in the modulus of elasticity. Poisson coefficient during concrete hardening changed slightly, in media within 5%. Compared with the initial, 28 days after manufacture, deformations, pre-single compressibility decreased by an average of 10% in fine-grained foam concrete and by 13% in micro-grained. Plastic deformations of fast-flowing creep with a load of less than 0.30.4 RB have practically disappeared. Thus, these temporary resistance loads are nothing more than limits of concrete elasticity, which increase during the year by an average of 10 and 15%, respectively, for fine and micro-grained foam concrete. As for natural hardening foam concrete, its elasticity limit for 15 years has increased to a relative level of 0.7 and 0.6 of the temporary resistance, respectively, for fine and micro-grained concrete. After the prism creep test of a load of 0.3 RB, the strength of fine-grained concrete increased by 20 to 60 percent, and micro-grained concrete by 35 to 75 percent, especially significantly in foam concrete with a lower average density. Here is given the ratio of prism strength at the end of loading to the strength at the beginning of loading. Comparative data on the strength of prisms under load and previously Nina loaded make it possible to conclude that the increase in the strength of prisms under load was on average 12% for both fine and micro-grained foam concrete. Thus, the experiments revealed a natural strengthening of foam concrete under the influence of a long-term applied load with respect to the same concrete, which was in the same temperature and humidity conditions, but without the load. Conclusions When hardening in laboratory and natural physical and climatic conditions, foam concrete of all compositions shows a steady increase in strength and modulus of elasticity over time, and the greater the lower the average density of concrete. A natural hardening of foam concrete was revealed under the influence of a long-term applied load on the same concrete, which was in the same temperature and humidity conditions, but without load. Due to the increase in strength and modulus of elasticity in time, the initial provision of normative and design resistance of foam concrete to compression and, therefore, bearing capacity of structures from it is increased. This makes it possible to increase its characteristics when calculating structures for the first group of limit states by 5 to 10 percent. In addition, this creates a prerequisite for reducing the consumption of reinforcement or cement without reducing the bearing capacity of the structure. Thus, the properties of non-autoclave cement foam concrete on various types of aggregate improve over time, which characterizes it as a reliable and promising structural and structural thermal insulation material. That's all, thank you for your attention.